Hello and welcome back to what I hope is the last video on the build of the P47. After that I hope there's some videos on flying it. And this is going to be all about the details. So let me start with the landing gear that I've already started. Again, this is not a flying landing gear, it's just for, for show. I've already painted a little bit. I've still got to paint the white stripe because the landing gear actually, uh, if you see some images, it it's somehow painted also with the invasion stripe. So I still have to do the white part on the landing gear, which is probably I'll do it now because that's fun. Um, with the markings, I still have to do, let's see if I can show you, one last white star which I'm a little bit afraid of and then I have to do maybe some fixing some of the of the spots where the paint is going under the masking tape and then on the upper side is going to be much more complicated as I mentioned before I'm not happy with this dark grey I want to make it paler so I've got some more white paint I got a, a new pot of white paint and I'm going to mix it in with a little bit of black to make it very light grey and hoping that when it goes on to this it gets to a medium grey which is kind of what I'm looking for so let's see how that goes and I'll be using also the the sponge technique I have here the sponge that I'll cut off another corner maybe from it and use that as a brush or if I find the other one then I'll use the other one so that's uh, that's for the main uh, main uh, design next steps will also be then to fix the green because as you can see there's still the the brush marks there so I'll use also the sponge technique to paint that and then I need to repaint in red the cowling the the nose let's say the, the engine cowling there and also some details around the cockpit and then with that hopefully it will be almost done so I think the underside is kind of okay it's not perfect but as I was mentioning before it's irregular in a regular way so I'm kind of okay with it I might still put in some fill in some of the of the spots but I think I'm kind of okay with it uh, just maybe some of the details here for example you see some gray paint slipped into the white stripe and things like that so so that's uh, that's the plan for this video I'm going to take a bit and I'll keep you posted mixed black and white paint mostly white to try to get some gray and I did get gray but I think it's too white but uh, I think I'm going to leave it like this because I'm already tired of the whole process so I'm going to leave it like this um, at the distance it might not look as bad as this close-up I think it actually does so I would recommend that you reduce the resolution on, the, on your video so that it looks a little bit better and um, yeah let's see it might get uh, still a little bit better if it, if it dries but I'm going to leave it like that because it's I'm spending I think more time painting this than actually building it and I prefer building more than painting but anyhow so the um, the gray paint has gone on on the wings and on the on the fuselage I've started with the last star there it is it's all masked over and painted blue so that the, the paint doesn't bleed away and then the next steps are going to be some details the green is still to be done the red still to be done and also some red stripes that go onto the tail fin they're also going to be there so I, and the, the landing gear that I've done already, not sure I showed it already there it is, so it sits in there nicely, but uh, anyhow, some progress and as I say, I somehow want to finish this already, I'm struggling with this one. Here I am hitting whole new levels of frustration. Um, I've already put the, marking, the, the masking tape to draw some red lines, some red stripes, and I've realized I've done it in a very sloppy way. I haven't measured, I haven't done anything, right? Like I'm getting tired of this and then looking at the at the paint I was hoping I would somehow get used to it but uh, I'm not getting any and it's not getting any better. It's uh, it's really a mess. On this wing I tried to fix it with uh, with the grey white paint and it uh, it didn't really help very much. And then I'm thinking of just scrapping the whole thing or maybe parking it aside and maybe coming back to it in a couple of months. Um, so whole new levels of frustration what I think I'm going to do what I'm going to try to do I did find in a shop some some gray paint a whole new pot of gray paint and uh, I'm going to try to paint it not with a sponge method because for some reason the sponge method worked kind of okay with the green the green I have done I don't know if you can see it, it looks no you can't see it give me a second the green looks kind of okay and the underside is also kind of okay. Now these bubbles 
plastic is stuck um, kind of okay but the top part with the, with the sponge method hasn't worked at all I think it's because of the consistency of the paint actually so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to go back to the brush I'm going to find the, the thick brush that I have it's not very thick I don't even know why I have it and uh, I'm going to try to paint with this grey paint it's a bit darker than this but paler than this I go so darker than this but paler than this and I hope that that somehow helps and uh, I'll start probably on the wing so that I don't need to put any masking tape or anything like that and see what it works like but that's going to be the third layer of paint the third coat of paint on the wing and uh, it's not getting any better so let's see how it goes I I don't want to give it up but I might need to park it for a few months and then come back to it when I've got a bit more strength and energy I might do another project in between that I've already started I have not given up yet at least I have painted the right wing with a new paint and started also the fuselage it is does not look good but it's much smoother than the old design which I hope will help not only with the looks but also with the aerodynamic qualities let's say I've also done a bit of the tail fin like the the tail I can see that uh, on the uh, movable part is actually much smoother this just had one layer of paint same as the bottom part and now I put another layer of this other paint which looks much better so what I'm going to do now I'm going to give a second hand second coat of paint with that same new paint that I have let's see if it starts to look better and then I'll do then the it's difficult like this I'll do then the, the other side and see how that goes so I'm not giving up yet I just listened to the other video that I shot and um, that I did yesterday or two days ago I'm not giving up yet I'm going to finish this so that at least I can post something I haven't posted in a while and then I hope that the next video will really be the last one with the, the details the red markings and and things like that so I leave it here thank you everybody for watching and for following along on my frustration but uh, Never give up, that's the message.